Welcome to sunny Hampshire guys. Tonight we are out ratting and I am properly excited. I haven't been ratting in a long time. I spoke to Hick Micro about borrowing a bit of tech and they sent this down. I've got the standard version of this on my rifle, but this is the 4K LRF. It's got an updated 4K sensor over my standard one and a laser range finder, which is gonna be pretty handy for fast shooting. We've just chucked it on my Air Ranger, thought we'd zero it in. We've got a target out there at 25 yards. We've been through the one shot zero before. It is so simple. And we're looking at, on a fairly gusty day, what looks like a half an inch group at that distance. We might tighten that up with a little bit of practice, but more than enough for a dead rat. Let's go recharge with gas, plink a little more, find a few ranges, maybe put it out at 40 and 10 and have a play, but mostly now it's just about waiting for it to get dark. It's fair to say that nobody likes rats. This has been the case for centuries. Since the medieval times, rat catchers have been employed to curb the spread of these little pests, to control both the damage they do and the disease they spread. In the olden days, it was all done with dogs. But nowadays, we've got a whole new set of tools at our disposal, night vision and thermal optics which makes this task not only more successful, but way more enjoyable. You do. Plan is to shoot a lot of rats. We've got some cover crop they've topped over there. Mm -hmm. We've got an old pen here, which is traditionally quite good around the old feeders. So yeah, there's two main blocks of cover crop and that old pen there, they're pretty good for rats, usually. Oh, gonna mooch around and Usually, I, I historically the word usually and our endeavours don't really work. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm hoping, right? We've got more chance tonight than we've had before. We've got a chance when it gets dark, it'll get better. Um, squirrels are fine. Whatever's now, whatever's in, uh, it's fine. Air right. guns are fun. I used to be so into them, as we've said before, but I'm ready to be humbled again if you are. Uh, yeah, it's going to be really difficult to think about drop and stuff like that. But um, last time we went air gunning was massively unsuccessful. <laughs> I think we shot a fox and a deer in our last air gun foray. So um, this might be better, it might not. Yeah, not um, going to be any blood this time though. So that's good. Uh, yeah, do you want to skip yourself? That's um, hard with an air ranger. Yeah. All right. I can, do I you can... have a little scope around in the daytime? Just something we're going to work with? Let's do it. Let's have a quick look. Right, let's go uh, for get a, a feel for it and then we'll go. As I said, Back in the day, I was out with an air gun every week, and I still have an undeniable passion for the way these guns work and an admiration for the talent it takes to shoot them at range. And even though I spend more time with shotguns now, I still enjoy using air guns as often as possible. Over the past few years, we have seen night vision optics soar in quality and become more affordable in price. This Alpex 4K is not only good at night, but it's a great day scope as well, and has an accurate laser rangefinder built in, which is an invaluable feature for this kind of shooting. I appreciate this technology as much now as I would have when I was 14 with a torch taped to the barrel. As this is an LRF, it probably would have been prudent to put the ballistic data in, and it would have told you where it's dropping. Straight over the top of it. All right, yeah. How do we then put the ballistic data into this scope? It's far too intelligent for me to manage this. <laughs> I've actually got the older version of this scope on my 3006, and I'm kind of bummed because this one features a ballistic calculator. Once you've been into the scope's menu and plugged in your data, you rangefind your target, and a little X comes up on the crosshair, giving you the exact drop you can expect. I know this technology is getting more common, but I still think it's extremely cool, and hopefully should get us a few less misses tonight. I feel technologically advanced. For a man who likes like 100 year old shotguns, I feel very technologically advanced. We've got this, we've got the Habrock, which we took out on the Munjack campaign. Yep. They're sick. <laughs> We're pretty, pretty gunned up for ratting. Um, I think in the last 20 years, I've, I've been lucky enough, hunted all over the world. Loads of deer, loads of everything. And my best night shooting, without a doubt, is rat shooting with night vision and thermal. It's just so much fun. Um, it's easy, you can do it at night. You're not tied down by kids. This is epic. We've got Lynx 2.0, the new one. We've got Habrock, uh, the HQ series, so our super duper range finding, day night vision binoculars. 
and that thing, which is awesome. Our Alpex I mean, 4K value RF. for money, it's the best thing. And I, I don't know whether I shoot ranges with my 30O that would require that as a thing. Cool toy though. Cool toy. And, and with let's an say, air gun. Worst case scenario, oh, yeah. bad things happen. Worst case scenario, you've got to do a follow-up shot. You uh, know where it's going, yeah. right? Not many people That's practice really at 300 cool. yards, right? No. While we were waiting for it to get dark, we had a play with the Habrox to see if we could spot any early rats along the side of a pheasant pen. And although no rats came out, we did see a few muntjac moving in the woods. So we're just gonna hang out whilst it gets dark and we can do this properly, but I caught a rat in a thermal of those barrels. Got into a decent shooting position, but now there's no sign of it. So it's getting proper dark, but I am still in day mode and the colour is still cracking. I mean, that's very similar to mine, but the clarity is just a good chunk better at full zoom. Rich explained that this is down to the latest 4K sensor, which is a huge upgrade from the old Alpex. So apparently that cover crop down there is one with all the rats on it. It's not there. We might have to get on the phone to phone to old Jeremy. Managing to bag my first rabbit in an age, we scanned the far hedgerow to find it teeming with rats. This was about to get busy. With Rich using the built-in IR lamp on the Habrock to help guide me on the air rifle, we were knocking them down one after the other. One pair of rats can have six litters of 12 pups a year. These are ready to breed at nine weeks old, some quick maths would say that one pair of rats can multiply to over 1,200 rats in one year. And honestly, you don't want them around your home and farmers don't want them on their land, causing thousands of damage to crops and predating on chicks, eggs and literally anything else they can find. Sure. We were here to try and limit numbers, but it was clear we would need to be back a lot more to get them under control. It's a funny old world where I'm fighting you over a rabbit. Do you remember, I well, certainly, when you were probably a young man, I was a kid, you can go and shoot 100 a night. Yeah. Funny how things change, isn't it? Yeah, I air rifle for like an hour, you come back with like 20, 20, 30 rabbits and be like, yeah, that's a good night. And all shot at about 10 to 30 yards. Yeah, um, dumb. Yeah, I, I cut yeah. my teeth on them. And um, now, if you see one, um, I, I haven't shot a rabbit good. in maybe two years, three years, and then I shot a rabbit. Yeah. There was a time, like I said, there were thousands, but... Yeah, I feel for the farmers at the same time, but it's just being replaced by other stuff, I guess. Now there's more deer and more hares. I mean, more hares is good, right? I th people say that, that I, I live in the south of England where we've always had thousands of hares. I never used to see hares when I was younger, so it was nice to see them. And rabbits aren't technically native, are they? I mean, I reckon they've been they here a long, long time, but two thousand years or something. Like, it's a long yeah. time. We're not done. Should we go some more? Should we sit down for ten minutes? Let's sit down for ten minutes. That was a lot of walking over claggy, muddy crap. Yeah, and um, a lot of standing to attention, uh, holding, <laughs> holding the iris still as possible. And I'll tell you what, that is an epic combo. Mixing these, which are a sick unit anyway, with the thing. I love the teamwork aspect yeah. of. There's one. Shine the light well, on it for you. We didn't yeah. know last time. We we ended up without an illuminator again. And, uh, but luckily, the Habrox have got a built-in illuminator. And it's actually, a pretty sick illuminator, to be fair. It's very good, wasn't it, yeah. actually? I, was, I, you know, I think, to be fair, on the unit itself, uh, looking out past like 100, 150, it gets a little bit like, eh, it's okay. It's a night vision unit. I mean, it's very good low light, obviously, without the illuminator. You switch to night vision, and it's great. With an air rifle, a rim fire, actually. That was freaking awesome. Because yeah. we were literally just zooming in and showing like literally marking the target with yeah. the illuminator opening up the beam and i could be on thermal so i could give you an exact reading where it was yeah. what it was doing even it was in the thick cover yeah I, yeah really good 
I feel like it's like a sniper spotter team. I feel like I'm in a movie. I'm as happy as can be. And it was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, cool. We'll Let's see you in some uh, thermal footage. <laughs> Individually, these units are enough to change the game of any hunt, but when they were paired together, we as a team felt unstoppable. The only issue we ran into was tired arms, not enough pellets in the mag, and communicating which of the hundred rats we were going after. 50 rats in and the weather turned bitterly cold and rain started to fall. And although we were still seeing hundreds of rats in the thermal, we decided to call it a day. I call this a successful scouting mission, and we will be back for more. But for now, rabbit pie awaits. Thank you for watching guys, this channel is made possible by our amazing sponsors, you can find out more about them in the description down below. And if you want to support the channel, you can join as a member, you get loads of extra content, well, some extra content, and occasionally we hook up and go clay shooting together as a membership group. If you don't feel like joining today, we really appreciate you watching and subscribing. Have a wonderful day.